David Willis. The French authorities say they believe a man who was shot by soldiers as he tried to attack the Louvre Museum early on Friday was an Egyptian who came to Paris on a tourist visa only eight days ago. A French prosecutor said the 29-year-old suspect was thought to have travelled to Paris from Dubai. Police are trying to establish if the man who is critically injured was acting alone. Johnny Diamond reports. In the heart of Paris, at the entrance to one of its cultural treasures, an attacker is brought down by the military. An Egyptian, he'd come to the city eight days ago. He was stopped as he tried to enter the shops beneath the Louvre. He shouted, Allahu Akbar, God is great, in Arabic. And then swung at a soldier with one of the two machetes he was carrying. The soldier fired from the ground. All around, confusion and fear. The president in Malta at the EU summit said it was a terrorist attack. The situation, he said, was under control. But the threat is there. It remains. And we have to face it. And that's the reason we mobilise these many resources. And we will continue to do so as long as it's needed. For the authorities, this was proof that the high-profile security presence in the capital and across France really does work. It was also a reminder of the attacks that took so many lives here and of the threat that remains in Paris and beyond. By the end of the day, the Louvre was open again, but Paris and France remain on high alert. Johnny Diamond, BBC News, Paris.